Hello everybody. Today we'll be taking a look at figures of speech. They are words used to create a dramatic effect when you're speaking, reading, or trying to probably give a presentation. The first we're looking at is metaphor. Metaphor is the comparison of two things in an indirect manner. Metaphor compared to things indirectly. We have the example on the slide. She has a heart of stone. So she has a resilient spirit. She has a hardened heart. The next on the list is simile. This is comparison to but it's a direct manner using like or as. We have example on the slide. She is as sly as a fox or as white as snow. The next is personification. This action is attributing human qualities to inanimate objects. What are we trying to say? We are treating something that is inhuman as though it is human. We have the example on the slide. The pen wrote tirelessly. How can a pen write? <laughs> That's personification. The next is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. There are times when we use words that produce some sounds. They belong either to an animal or things. In other words, a word or sound used to suggest its meaning. For example, boom, bang, pop. The gun booms suddenly. Roar. The lion roars once in a blue moon. The cock crows always. The next on the list is hyperbole. It's a way of speaking or writing that makes something sound better, more exciting, or dangerous. The longer shot of it is exaggeration. Yes, when you exaggerate. I was so hungry that I could have eaten a horse. Is that possible? No. But that is hyperbole, exaggeration. The opposite of hyperbole is lithotis, that is understatement. The next is imagery. This is a language that produces pictures in your mind. When you read a book or you look at a photograph, it creates this image in your mind, this picture in your mind. So that is imagery. Remember, figures of speech, that's the topic. The next is repetition. It's a thing that has been said before and you're doing it again you're repeating words what is said before you're saying it again i told you to stop i told you that i wanted to go home i told you to be vigilant i told you to go away you are repeating i told i told the next which is the last number seven is juxtaposition you could slash the word in two juxta and position. You see, you put people or things together to show contrast, to create a new relationship between them. We have the examples on the slide. For figures of speech, we either compare directly or indirectly. We contrast directly or indirectly. We have other examples of figures of speech. We have irony, paradox, euphemism, pun, Little this, we have so many. I hope you learned something new today. So thank you very much for listening and for watching. Please subscribe, click the notification bell, and please leave your comments. Support my channel. Thank you and have a lovely day. God bless you.